Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Chew. I'm Robert Wallace. This is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus or am I choosing my own way? Now, one thing I didn't mention yesterday in Consecration and Devoted is that we often equate our devotion to love. In the case of Christ followers, it's about love. It's not about being just dedicated we're moved by our love for Jesus and his love for us to consecration and devotion. And we need to realize the difference between devotion and dedication. We can be dedicated mostly to things and people. I've worked with people in my life who were dedicated to their work, but they weren't devoted to their work. You understand the distinction, I hope. Many of us are dedicated to our daily routine. During the work week, we're dedicated to getting to bed at the same time and getting up at the same time every single day so that our routine of dedication to that is so that we can simply get to work on time, right? Dedication is important, and here's the important part. Without being consecrated to serving our Lord and Savior, without consecrating our lives, our dedication may not be 100%. And dedication is a choice. Luke writes in Acts chapter 2, verse 46, every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts. The key words in this verse is every day that dedication to the Lord and to each other. In Acts chapter 3, we read that their daily dedication to meet and pray. Luke is continuing to point out this dedication, not just for the apostles, but for the entire community of believers to be in the temple courts every day for prayer. The point is their dedication to, to the disciplines of faith and active faith. Warren W. Wearsby wrote this, the burnt offering was the basic sacrifice that expressed devotion and dedication to the Lord, but when we surrender ourselves to the Lord, we put all on the altar and hold back nothing. Consecration, devotion, and dedication are to the Lord and they all work together. Here are my questions. Am I dedicated in my relationship with Jesus daily? Am I dedicated to the spiritual disciplines daily? Those spiritual disciplines that help me stay attached to Jesus, to stay in relationship with Jesus. Am I dedicated to living a life marked by active faith. What's the Holy Spirit saying to me right now, today? Am I going to choose the way of Jesus that leads to a full life, or am I going to choose my own way? Again, I'm praying for us. Let's go back and let's read this passage. Let's invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from His Word. Let's have receptive hearts and minds to receive these truths. And then let's take a step of faith today with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to live an active faith. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.